Someday we'll get to do an approach thing. Although, maybe not, honestly. <laughs> we may have to start deliberately not winning. Yeah, we might have built a deck that's too aggressive. <laughs> it's unfortunate that most of the best two-for-ones are the aggressive two-for-ones. I guess we keep this. It does go turn one Elemental Masterpiece. And if we draw a Letter of Acceptance, then we get to do a draw two and then Elemental Masterpiece. Might cast Approach, but I doubt it wins us the game. If we can Sandbag solve the equation and draw Approach, we have a chance. Like, if we draw Approach this turn, then that's a turn two Approach win. Never lucky. All right. Letter of Acceptance, Island, Elemental Masterpiece. Do you have a way to copy anything? No. I guess you do remove my opponent's attackers. Huh. Okay. Will is slightly better than I gave it credit for. Rowan sort of copies, if we ultimate. <laughs> Waterfall Aerialist. Uh, that's kind of annoying. That kills my will. Well, I can play Pillar Drop Warden, actually, and then that isn't relevant. So if I will into Letter of Acceptance plus... Approach? Nah, I still can't win. Oh, wait, yes, I can. No, I can't. I need a blue source. Dang. Well, all right. Well, we do win next turn. That seems pretty good. So how do we play this the most safely? I guess if I row in into two letter of acceptances, we win this turn. No, one letter of acceptance isn't enough. No. If only this mountain was an island, we'd have the turn to approach win. Gosh darn it. Approach costs less, so I can cast two approaches with letters of acceptance, but I can't also cast the solve the equation. That's the rub. Hmm. If I play the approach, then they know what's happening. Oh, I have to play the approach, because it costs more next turn after Will dies, possibly. I guess I could just Elemental Masterpiece and Pillar Drop Warden. I think there's still too much risk that the Will dies, so we kind of have to let them know what's coming. I think we attack here. Warden stops Will from dying if Warden sticks around, which isn't guaranteed. On the off chance my opponent has a counterspell of some sort, I think I'm supposed to be doing as much as I can to present an alternative clock. Okay, that doesn't give Trample. It's going at face, so that's going at will. They did miss that Pillar Drop Warden has a reach, so we're just going to block that Aerialist. It does have reach, yes. Okay, okay. So Cogwork Archivist turns into a 2-4?
one unknown card. Do I have a counter spell? No, just an elemental masterpiece. Bummer. See how much damage we can do. I guess the good news is that if the opponent does have a counter spell to stop themselves from dying to approach, they're on zero cards in hand. Get approach. I'm gonna cast this here one mana approach. Okay, all right. Well, we didn't get lucky enough to get a turn two approach, but we did get a turn three approach victory, which sure, maybe we were gonna win that game anyway, but I'm gonna say that that still feels good. Actually, hold on. I guess I probably also had like the ability to tutor mascot interception for lethal, but that loses to all the same things and more, so that was worse. We did technically win faster with approach, and we didn't even have to play badly to do it. That's true. That's true. That's an authentic approach victory. Okay, I guess this is good. It's only a turn one elemental masterpiece, but it could be worse. Hmm. Okay, we definitely introduction of prophecy because oh no, I don't have a blue source. So even if we hit approach here, we're still not turn two winning. I guess we could draw in two. And both of those are bad. Hmm. Well, Pillar Drop Warden isn't terribly impressive, so I guess we're just gonna put 8 power on the board. Yeah, Curate is not really a very impressive card, after having actually learned the speed of this format. Godwork Archivist. Okay. Do we have lethal here somehow? I think we might have lethal. So steal their 4-5, have 14 damage. No, are we one short? Oh, our pump spell is only 5 damage. 6, 10, 14, 19. It's only 19 damage? Really? <sighs> Bummer. I don't have anything else I can do, right? I don't think so. So I guess we're just going to steal Cogwork Archivist. Oh, I don't have a learn card yet. Shoot. I thought I could just kill the Archivist here. I probably still have to get the... Removal spell, though. Yeah, I think so. Whoa, where's my extra time? <laughs> okay, sure. I don't get any extra time for casting spells. Okay, I would have liked to have killed that Cogwork Archivist. But I guess we're making things interesting instead. Well, stone raining their blue source is kind of decent. Draw four. <sighs> Collective out or creative outburst is lethal, so I guess that's what I'm supposed to keep. And I guess I just want to have test of talents, so we're actually discarding introduction of prophecy here.
Yeah, the, the timer like didn't extend at all while I was making any actions, which was kind of weird. Okay, well, how much can you do here, opponent? That's a letter of acceptance. That's another blue land. That's each player loses two life, you draw two cards. Okay, so that's just a divination. Am I okay with that? I think I'm okay with that. It's a weird divination to include. Serpentine curve doesn't matter, so sure. Fuming Effigy doesn't matter, sure. So they have one mana to interact with us. We still have Negate up. Okay, I'm just going to pay four mana to deal five to your face. I guess that works. All right, that was much more complicated than it needed to be, but we got them there. <laughs> hmm. How are we supposed to feel about that game? I don't think I had any opportunities to sandbag there that didn't actually, like, cost me percentage points to win the game, anyway, right? So if I let them go into their upkeep, then they can sack the... Oh, just sit there while Outburst is <laughs> resolving? That, I think, would probably be rude. Okay, this is really dirtily and slow, but I do get to just play Island Counterspell Pass and try to set up for first day of the class into Elemental Masterpiece. It's like incredibly terrible, but I want us to do it just to see if it works. All right, Mascot Interception isn't a problem. Also, they didn't do anything, so that's cool. I think I would like to test a talent's elemental masterpiece. Oh no, opponent's on the same deck as us! They've only got three letters. It's <laughs> like literally nearly the same deck as us. Okay, so I can choose to first day of class Elemental Masterpiece next turn, or I could choose to Elemental Masterpiece this turn. I think I'd rather hold up Whirlwind Denial, right? Yeah, Expressive Iteration is not a very impressive looking card here, is it? Definitely going to counter that, because I'm using up all my mana next turn anyway. Letter of Acceptance? That does let us cast Creative Outburst eventually, I guess. If we had more mana, elemental summoning would be interesting, but I think it's probably just expanded anatomy here. If I mask on interception, I put them to 15. Or rather, I do 15 to them and put them to 5. On the off chance there's a board wipe, is that actually correct? Yeah, why not? It's not how math works. Why did I think that would... Oh, because I thought it was plus three. I was thinking of the pump spell. So definitely not correct to have done. All right, introduction to prophecy. 
none of these cards are good. Introduction to Prophecy. None of these cards are good in this situation. Burying books, huh? I suppose that's probably better to use here than Creative Outburst. Oh wait, I can Creative Outburst their face and then try to find a blue source. That's probably the best way to do this. Gives us the highest odds of lethal. Unfortunately, we're not taking approach this time. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, I'm enjoying this. Does Strixhaven even have a board wipe? Um, it has to, right? In the Mystical Archives, there's got to be something. I'm assuming there's like probably actual factual Wrath of God, right? Uh, okay. Turn one counterspell. Turn two first day of class. Cogwork Archivist. It's. I mean, I'm probably gonna lose to a good start, but I'm on the draw, so that's probably usually gonna happen. That is true, there is Devastating Mastery. Ooh, Teachings of the Archaics. Luckily, that's only a divination. Otherwise, I'd have to be really scared. Well... Yeah, I'm probably supposed to hold up Whirlwind and Isle here. Okay. Well, my opponent has a lot of mana compared to me. And a lot of cards. So, I am concerned. What? No, opponent, you're supposed to play stuff into my whirlwind denial. It's not fair if you don't do that. However, letter of acceptance is pretty good. Do I go for first day of the class elemental masterpiece? Or play around the fact that my opponent has five cards in hand and five mana up and didn't do anything? Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. This is actually really tough. I could just play Cogwork Archivist and pass. Nah. I think I just hold up Whirlwind Denial. Just go for the Cogwork Arcanist instead of the Elemental Masterpieces. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. I'm probably supposed to make them have it in this spot. Oh wow, they just actually don't have anything. But if they're sacking their letters, then my Whirlwind Denial gets even better. And if they play a creature, Mascot Exhibition makes me not care about that. It's just a 4-4. Do I care? I think I actively don't care because I can Mascot Interception that. And if they play some better creature, then I get to bury and books it. Barbarian books the Ogier. Yeah, seems like lethal to me. Do I Barbarian books now? Gives an opening where I don't have a counter spell. I don't think I need to take that risk. Yeah, drew a land, so it wouldn't have mattered. All right, Barbarian books the Ogier. They scry, sure. It's so like heated debate on the 4 4 keeps them alive. Okay. <laughs> I 
I guess we can win on turn three. That works too. I don't know if Manamorphose is legal in this format or not. But if it was, it'd be a very good card. <laughs> Probably not. I don't think they introduced Manamorphose to Historic. Well, maybe it was one of the ones that was banned. Mascot is winning a lot of games, that's true. It, it, one mana, steal your best 4-4 four, four or better. Oh, no! This hand is so bad, but it's got approach! Uh, okay, that's a mole. What? I clicked mulligan, right? What? <laughs> hmm. Okay. All right. Sure. We keep. There's no way I'm ever casting Creative Outburst, right? Literally ever. Ah, oh, but it's so good at finding approach. Heck. We're getting rid of Fuming Effigy. I believe. Making one treasure to cast approach doesn't really solve the problem of casting the second approach, though. Please don't kill my dust speaker opponent. I need that. Okay, it's a 5-5. Five, five. That's a problem. Well, alright. Enthusiastic study on dusk speaker. Expanded anatomy on dusk speaker. Combat. Swing. Opponent's 5-5 five, five looks kind of silly now, doesn't it? Letter of acceptance. Sweet. And a mountain. Sweet. It's like actually drawing two cards. Now... I should probably cast Approach. I could also cast Practical Research, but I should probably cast Approach. <laughs> if I hit a blue land or a letter of acceptance, I think I just win. Because I'm drawing seven cards next turn, assuming my Dust Speaker gets to attack. Now, I feel like this attack could be because mistakes are happening. But I'm not willing to risk that my opponent has heated debate or a pump spell. Alright, come on deck. Oh, having four mountains makes that solve the equation. Wait, 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 is that good enough? Make a treasure? Three lands? Oh, that's good enough, that's good enough, that's good enough! Okay, I need to bait my opponent into doing something. I don't want them to have a red mana counter split. <laughs> that works too! <laughs> oh. Alright, let's try to draw a card. No, I don't think I want either of those. Cool, a mountain. Scry 2, draw a card. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I want that Cogwork Archivist, actually. Okay, do we have a way to be safe here? Uh, there's no way I can ever... Tutor up a counter spell and cast approach. I just don't have enough mana for that. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna cast approach. <laughs> you gotta stop playing around Manamorphose? Why would I stop playing around Manamorphose when I can play around Manamorphose and wind anyway? <laughs> 